Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Um, so you guys know, I, I, I don't have to say this. Um, you know, I used to be super big fan of Boogie 2988. Um, just almost obsessed, which was weird. Don't do that. Um, I, I just like, I always looked up to Boogie. Always have. Uh, I always loved his content. Um, I always liked his message. And it's no, it's no secret that Boogie's had a pretty rough time, uh, at least for the last four or five years. Um, we've seen his life. If you're, if you're like me, I've watched him from pretty much when he started. Uh, you know, back to the, the Mountain Dew days, the Francis, uh, breaking shit, uh, doing his personal talks, stuff like that. And I slowly watched this man, like, uh, grow and fall apart. Uh, which is sad because, you know, we've all, most of us have probably been in a place where we've all kind of fell apart. Um, you know, he's been making some videos lately talking about his downfall and trying to get back into how he was, how he used to be, how, um, when he was completely relevant. Um now this channel has got over four point some million followers, uh, which is a dream for a lot of people. Um, but it's no secret that Boogie's had uh, some rough times. Uh, I don't know what's going on. He has a different background. Um, I don't know if he lost his home. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I know you know his financial situation, which is really none of our business. But he's posted a video where he's talking about getting some kind of treatment. Um, and I wanted to react to it, uh, kind of a blind react, basically, uh, just to kind of see what he's saying. So figured, let's go ahead and get into it, see what, see what's going on, um, and we'll react together. We'll listen together, see what happens. I look awful, don't I? You've seen better days. Uh, it makes sense. If I look like I've been through hell over the last couple of days, it's because I have been. And uh, I don't know if I can post this video. I don't even know if I can record it. Now, I, 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 I'm going to say this. I, I've myself, I've posted videos where I'm like, and I even say inside the videos, man, I wish I didn't post this. Uh, why am I posting this? So questioning it while I'm posting this. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. Um, usually, usually whenever you're doing a personal video like this, uh, most people start out like, hey, uh, I'm sad, by the way, as if you can't tell. Uh, I'm guilty of this. I've done it myself. Uh, and there are tons of YouTubers that have done the same thing. Um, but I do find it cringe anymore because, like I said, I used to do it whenever something bad would happen, I'd be like, I don't know if I should post this. And Boogie's kind of doing that. He's kind of setting us up at this point, like, oh, this is going to be a sad video. This is going to be hard to watch. I don't know if I should post this because this. But let's go ahead and continue. I had my second session uh, with my psychedelic therapist and i'd love to go into more details about it but we can't because of youtube policies and things i got warned last time which is kind of bullshit i don't i don't know what um i don't know what he's talking about i know uh his last video where he's talking about dropping some of these medications which by the way don't do that don't do that and unless you talk to a doctor and slowly go off of them now i've made a mistake myself going off my meds it's called turkey not a good idea. Don't try to replace it with stuff either. Some people replace it with drugs, alcohol, other stuff. Uh, but don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, I would like to know what Boogie's talking about in terms of his psychedelic. I don't know what psychedelic uh, uh, thing he's doing. I, I don't know if it's safe. I can't really tell you it is because I don't know. Uh, but don't try to take something the doctor gives you sets you up on and just stop it just because you heard this works kind of check research and i'm not sure if you've done this or not um boogie seems like uh somebody that would just 
do the same thing I would do and just do a reaction and just stop just to see what happens. But let's go. But I will say that we did it on Sunday and um, the experience is supposed to be um, a positive one, I think, for most people, a good one. This particular setup, if you've seen the documentary, um, How to Change Your Mind, the second episode is what I'm talking about. You can probably Google that if you really want to know. It was not a positive experience for me. It was uh, a hard one. I mean, my therapist is a great therapist. He did a very good job. Thank you, Ryan. I love you. God bless you. The medicine did what it's supposed to do. And the therapy worked. But I was forced to face some really difficult truths. Let's go ahead and say this. Um, whenever you're dealing with psychedelics uh, or, you know, if you're getting high from marijuana, sometimes, it's, mostly it's not marijuana, uh, but some people have different reactions to different things. Uh, you know, I've never tried a psychedelic before. Um, I've always wanted to, but I was always afraid with my mental health that, hey, I'm going to have a bad trip and somebody's either going to get hurt, I'm going to get hurt, or... Uh, I'm just going to freak out and do something completely stupid. Um, that's that's the bad thing about doing these kind of things. You really don't know how you are going to react um, with doing that. Now, I can go ahead and say in the past, um, whenever I was taking things like Delta 8s or Delta 10s, uh, I would get sad. I'd get really sad. But the same thing happened with alcohol. Um, you know, the more alcohol I drank, the worse I got uh, depressed, I'd start crying, uh, just bring up things from the past. And that's kind of some of the dangers you're going to face whenever you do some type of substance, uh, that alters your mind. Uh, and that stuff does alter your mind, uh, whether you like it or not. It's, that's one of the things that happens when you get high or drunk or whatever. Uh, but I guess in this case, he got to experience the bad part, which again, um, uh, it's very common, very common to happen, uh, but let's go ahead and continue. And I'm really struggling with them. Which is why I don't think I can upload this video, but I'm going to talk to you anyway. God, give me the strength to upload this. That makes a lot more sense than it used to. If you're worried about me, if you if I look like I'm on drugs right now, it's, I'm not. I was a few days ago, though. Um, I am Jerry Smith from season one and two, Rick and Morty. Or possibly I'm Bojack Horseman. Or possibly I'm a combination of the two. If you've never seen either of those shows, I, I can try to make sense of it for you, but I I've never seen Bojack Horseman, but I know in Rick and Morty, uh Jerry is kind of um it's a dude who just doesn't have things going for him. Uh he's actually actually is kind of sad, like watching Jerry. He's always the butt of everybody's joke. Uh as for somebody it's probably everybody's probably watched Rick and Morty. Uh, but you know, Jerry is a train wreck and I think that's where he's getting to. Again, I'd say, I'd imagine that's what Bojack Horseman is, but, you know, I, I've never seen that, so I don't really have a reference. I think anybody who would watch this would actually know what I'm talking about. Season one, Jerry Smith is pathetic. And his patheticness has ruined his life. It's ruined his marriage. It's ruined his relationship with his children. It's ruined his career. But what's interesting about that patheticness is that it's a defense mechanism. That he's chosen to be pathetic in the hopes that no one would hurt him. The 
The reason I compare myself to Bojack Horseman, though, is because, like the character Bojack, I've done some terrible shit. Most notably, I ruined my body. Not irreversibly, I think. I think there's still some changes I can make, and I'm making them. But I think it's truly awful what I did to the body that I was given to explore this world and this universe with. I mean, lesson learned, and I hope that I can teach that lesson to you. I hope that you've learned it by watching me throughout the years. Now, just like me, just like me, uh, fat guy, big guy, lots of health issues. Uh, Boogie used to be about 600 pounds, I think. It was either 500 or 600. He's a pretty big guy, pretty big. Uh, he's struggled with his weight all his life. Same here, struggled with weight all his life. He has mental issues, uh, depression, anxiety. I'm not sure if he has bipolar, but he has everything that came with uh, being that big, uh, probably blood pressure, diabetes, stuff like that. Um, you know, he's went through some of the stuff I did. I went through a medical surgery where I did the uh, gastric sleeve, um, lost some weight, gained some weight back. Uh, you know, and since then I've been struggling ever since to get back to losing weight. Um, the same thing for him. He's just like a lot of people. They struggle with it. They start something, then they fail it. Uh, and the cycle just continues and continues and continues. Uh, you can have people just sitting in the background telling you, hey, uh, don't fuck up this time. Keep going. Keep going. And usually the pressure, sometimes the pressure is just a lot. Uh, what's it's going to say? It's quite a bit because, you know, somebody like me, I don't I don't like uh, I've never had people really root for me. So uh, just as he's speaking here, he's talking about his weight. Uh, just keep in mind that a lot of us uh, go through the same stuff. Um, and some of us are guilty of even going uh, basically exactly what he's done. So we continue. Like Jerry, I ruined my own career. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was the imposter syndrome. Maybe it's because I think I didn't deserve it. Maybe it's because I... I, I don't know. At almost every opportunity, I made the wrong decision. And I know on some level it was on purpose because I liked being pathetic. I liked hiding behind it and I thought it would make it okay. I thought it would be safe. I thought it would be. <laughs> but it's not, it's not, it's not. I mean, if you're making that decision consciously or subconsciously, it doesn't help, man. It doesn't make things better. It doesn't. It does not. It makes things so much worse. And he's right there. He is right. Uh, some people use stuff like that as a, a mechanism. Like me, uh, I don't talk to people. I hide from people. Even my best friends, my friends that I've had forever. Uh, I can even tell you last time I've talked to some of my friends because I'm afraid to push the burden of my mistakes, my issues on them. Uh, you know, I don't want I, I don't want my friends that have an awesome lives or something like that for somebody to come up and like use their uh, sadness and just kind of bring them down. That's how a lot of us feel. Uh, some of us just hide, not talk to people. Uh, become a recluse. Uh, it's, it's just the way it is. Um, you know, some people just sit behind the computer all day, not not talking to anybody. They lose their jobs. They lose their will of doing the things they like, um, and they just become uh, a shell, basically a zombie that just walks around and just exists. And it's kind of I kind of feel that's where he's uh, aiming here. I think that's where he's kind of going, but. 
Uh, he does say he is kind of pathetic, uh, which a lot of people will see that. Uh, that's why um, mental health issues isn't very, uh, it's a taboo thing. A lot of people think it's just weakness when it's actually a disease. So let's continue. By seeking comfort, you you lock yourself into a hell of your own creation. Your life becomes a prison. Your body becomes a prison. Motion detected at the front door. And that's the choice I made. And I think if I had not met this therapist, if I had not made a friend out of him, I, I'm afraid I was going to die that way. And I was going to die that way pretty soon. And so many other people had tried to help me. So many people tried to help, and I just threw it away, man. I threw it away. I have apologized a million times to you guys, and I know you're sick of hearing it. And I swear to God, I've never apologized to me. I don't know that I've ever been truly authentic about this stuff. Not just online, but in my own fucking head. And the thing that I'm afraid to really admit to is that I've hurt people so badly. I, I see these comments online. I see these posts. I see these from people who rooted for me and believed in me and hoped for me and eventually got enough and walked away. Now, I, you know, I, I've been, like I said, been following forever. And, you know, I've tried reaching out with him. I've talked to him a couple times, uh, rather via tweet or something like that. Um, you know, in, in a lot of stories, you know, some people, you know, they may know you as a good guy. But in some people's stories, you're the villain. Um, just kind of goes with it. There, there's two sides to every story. Um, and, you know, I'm sure I have people that despise me. They think I'm evil. Uh, and I just like I think some people are evil. Uh, as, as way with Boogie, he's done some shit things and at least he admits it. And I like to myself, I like to admit to my shit things that I've done. I'm not perfect. I'm not. Uh, none of us really are. None of us really are. And, you know, we're going to hurt people uh, rather if we like it or not, no matter how good or outstanding we are, somebody's going to get hurt in their story by me or you. Um, you know, like I said, I, I've been there for Boogie for a while. I try my best to reach out to him, uh, you know, even if, you know, just somebody to talk to, because I know what he's experiencing. Um, I know exactly what he's experiencing. Uh, and sometimes I kind of feel like I try too hard, and I just kind of backed off because what what was a YouTuber with 4.3 million subscribers would want to talk to some pleb on the internet. It's just at, in the scheme of things, I'm just another neckbeard on the internet that's talking about video games. But at least how I see Boogie, I could always relate to him. Uh, that's why I liked his content so much is because uh, you know I cared about what he said. He had a good message, um, and he just kind of kept going. And, you know, I've caught myself going uh, way out of bounds to the point where, you know, people don't like me. But let's continue. And they did so angry. And that has happened time and time again in my real life.
And they make no excuses for any of this. Because there are none. It's not an excuse, but hurt people hurt people. And until you stop hurting yourself, you're going to hurt everyone that loves you. Out of all the people I have dicked over the hardest, out of all the people I've hurt the most, I did most of it by fucking myself over. I did most of it by fucking myself over. I let my own fucking teeth run out. I let the circulation of my legs die. I let my body swell to 600 pounds. All in the names of protecting myself and trying to make myself the victim. Because I thought no one would want to victimize a victim. Of course they do. Now, sometimes, sometimes I kind of feel uh, the same way. I feel, and I, I kind of talked about it in one of the daily bits, I believe. Um, you know, throughout life, I've always said, uh, "Why me? Why, why? Why is this happening to me?" Always question when all the bad stuff would happen. Uh, kind of like he's doing here. Um, you know, I would, I would wonder. I was like, "Why is all these bad things happen to me?" And I always wanted to blame somebody else. But I never stopped and said, hey, what about me? It has to be me. Um, and, you know, some people might say, you're a victim of this, you're a victim of that. Uh, you know, I've had some problems in the past, like where I lost some people that I truly love. Um, you know, rather be breakups or suicide or uh, stuff like that. And sometimes you kind of feel like you're using that as a crutch. Uh, I try not to. I try not to make it seem that way. Uh, I don't want to be that way, uh, but I know in my like in my life that you know these things happen, and I talk about them a lot. Um, but it does make me paint myself as the victim. And uh, you you would see just just a couple weeks ago or last week, I believe, where we had the troll that was saying, "Hey, uh, there doesn't need to be. There's no room on earth for weak people." Or go join Josh. Uh, telling me to commit suicide and I lost it man I lost it uh, because you know you think in your head it's like nobody's gonna nobody's gonna say something shitty about you like something about that but it, but it's wrong it, it does people say sh shitty things to you um, even if you're trying to paint yourself as a victim um, but you know a lot of us are probably uh, the same way we probably think hey I'm a victim nobody's gonna pick on me but here we are of course they do because they see you literally victimizing yourself. So, lesson learned, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the question now is what do I do about it? And the answer is to stay here. I had a lot of work to do. I don't know how to do it. I don't know what to do yet. I have no clue. My friend, who is also seeing my therapist, said that I might end up deleting this YouTube channel altogether after my second experience. And I think... I think if this weren't a tool that I can use to help people, I think I would have.
But to the souls who still watch this, the souls who still watch me, the souls that still care, I know you are clinging on still to see me get this right. I That's one thing I want. I want him to get back to where he was. I, I like the old boogie. I love the old boogie, but I mean, you can't bring back the dead, um, but you can do better. Uh, I try myself to be better than who I am. Um, you know, you know, I, you know, part of me, I'm, I'm a broken person, uh, but I want to do better. Um, and I keep on realizing that day by day, um, especially, you know, I take a look at the comment section, uh, people just giving me all kinds of support, just, just awesome. I never expected people to really care about me. Um, but Boogie, you still have, you still have people that, are rooting for you. I'm like I said, I'm rooting for you. Even though you're not going to see this video, uh, I'm still rooting for you, dude. Like since the beginning, um, I haven't left. Uh, have I been annoyed? Yes. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm watching, I, you know, I'm trying to fix my life, you fix your life. Uh, hopefully you get back track to be the boogie you want to be and not the boogie everybody else wants you to be. Uh, cause right now everybody wants you to be some piece of shit. Um, some kind of phobe or something like that, uh, which I, I don't think you are. I don't think you are. Some people say the same about me. I don't care. Uh, I'm not. But, um, you know, a lot of people paint you as that uh, just because you have different views on stuff. But uh, I wouldn't let that get to you. Try not to let people put you down uh, just because the things you say uh, might hurt their feelings. So sometimes you have to realize that everything you say um, somebody's going to get offended by that. Uh, it doesn't matter what you do. So the best thing you do is just say what you say, stand by it, and fuck off with everybody else. I got you. I got you. I'm doing this for us. God, I hope you know what that means. God, I hope if you're still watching, I hope you know what that means. But I'm doing this for us. Truly and authentically, let me tell you that I love you. And of course by that I mean me too. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard right now. Mm. But I think as I continue to discover the world and the things in it and how it all works, I think it'll get a lot easier. But you're easy to love. You are. And I love you. Before I end this thing, I hope it doesn't go viral. I hope this is just seen by the people that it needs to be seen by. And I hope that's a small number of people. But if you're somebody who's watched me for a long time and left, or someone who's still watching, I want you to know I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm probably more right than I've ever been. This probably looks like crazy to you, but I promise you this is the first recording of sanity I've ever made. All right. All right. So, I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot there. One, there's a, quite a bit there. Um, you know, it's great. It's great that he put it out there. It does kind of take guts to put it out there. Uh, you're going to see a lot of people It's going to be like, hey, he's just putting that up for attention. I don't know. I don't know. Um, like I said, uh, it does take guts to put out uh, stuff like that. Um, you know, you see a lot of YouTubers uh, get personal with their viewers. Um, I try to be kind of personal with you guys when I can, for the most part. Uh, I feel like he's being honest here. Um, you know, we so there's there's a lot of people that I know 
that personally love Boogie. Um, every I, a lot of people that roost for Boogie. Uh, like I said, I've root, I root for Boogie. I uh, always have, always thought he was awesome, always wanted to meet Boogie, uh, never will, uh, never will have a personal relationship with Boogie, but, uh, you know, I, I, we, we, we're rooting for you, Boogie, um, uh, you know, even if you have all these haters coming at you, uh, telling you to do bad things, um, don't fucking listen to them, uh, you're, you're your own person, you, you, you've done some things that, None of us could ever imagine doing, um, you know, making it to the top. You started from uh, disability to somebody that owns his own home, has a successful career. Uh, you've been married. You've got a divorce that sucks. Um, but, you know, how I'm seeing things as of late is, um, you know, I had I've lost a lot of things. Uh, I, I'm still I'm still afraid. So scared, scared to death of trying to rekindle relationships uh, or loving myself. And that's one of the most important things you got to do. You got to love yourself. Uh, most of the time, I hate myself. Most of the time, I'm not going to lie. Um, but Boogie, glad that you made this video. Um, if you ever want to talk, if you ever uh, stumble across this video. Um, thank you for being Internet's friend. Um, I know they used to call you the Mr. Rogers of the internet. Um, I still kind of see it that way, but, uh, buddy, you got friends, you got people that's rooting for you. Um, you know, keep fighting the fight. Um, you know, keep talking about mental health, keep talking about, uh, video games and your experiences. Uh, just don't give up, dude. Um, if you have to get a job, get a job. If you have to take a break, take a break. Um, just don't die don't don't give up don't end yourself um yeah it, that'd be heartbreaking for a lot of people uh but we're glad that you posted this uh keep going dude and i'll see you soon guys thank you so much for watching be sure to hit that subscribe button love you